Alberta has voted and their vote was for change. The province that broke with tradition just four years ago to go NDP has now swung back to conservative rule. For Jason Kenney's supporters, this is a big win after a hard fought and oftentimes ugly campaign. But that victory for the new United Conservative Party means, of course, a loss for the Rachel Notley and her NDP. She gave her concession speech in Edmonton after four years of leading the province. And you can bet what happened here tonight being watched closely across Canada because on issues like climate change and the economy, tonight's results will have national implications. Of course, Jason Kenney, no stranger to the national stage, though, a former federal cabinet minister, now premier designate in Alberta. Let's head now to Carolyn Dunn, who is at United Conservative Party headquarters. Carolyn, Jason Kenney just gave his victory speech, and it was a long one, I must say. Yeah, it sure was. I guess that's what happens when you have a decisive majority. You get time to talk, don't you? He was in a fighting mood, really, Rosemary, basically saying that he and his team are prepared to stand up to anybody who might be in opposition to Alberta's oil and gas industry. He also gave a very open invitation to business, come to Alberta. He says, we will have lower corporate taxes, we will have less regulation, and uh, a direct appeal for them to uh, start investing in Alberta. And then there was this promise to those that have been hurt by a very lengthy downturn. This democratic decision is a message to all of those Albertans who are struggling, to the unemployed, to those who have given up, to the small business owners barely hanging on, to the young people who got their degrees and their diplomas but can't find work, to those who have lost their homes and their hope after years of economic decline and stagnation. To them, to them we send this message. Help is on the way and hope is on the horizon. And that is a promise that uh, Jason Kenney will undoubtedly be kept to, Rosemary. Okay, so that gives us a sense, I guess, of what uh, he's going to do for Alberta. Give us a sense, though, of what the win means more broadly for, for the rest of the country. Even. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of disdain for the carbon tax in this province. And so Jason Kenney is promising not only Albertans that the, his first act as premier uh, will be to repeal the provincial carbon tax, but that he is going to join a legal battle against the federal carbon tax. He is also promising to stand up to BC and uh, enact, uh, turn off the TAP legislation if they don't cut their uh, opposition to pipelines to take uh, Alberta oil in to Tidewater, and also that he is prepared to fight Ottawa at every turn on from everything from pipelines to equalization. A, a real, uh, a real tough talking Jason Kenney tonight, and uh, he and his team say they're ready to go, uh, ready to uh, start battling those who have been undervaluing Alberta, as he says. Really interesting to hear him appeal to Quebec in French, too, to try and get another pipeline through a province that didn't want one. Carolyn Dunn at uh, Jason Kenney headquarters tonight. Thank you for all your help, Carolyn. Just before Kenny gave his speech, Rachel, Rachel Notley gave hers. It was, of course, a very different one than the one she wanted to give tonight. I spoke with Rafi Bujakanyan as she was thanking her supporters in Edmonton. Though there might have been disappointment in her words, and there's disappointment in this room, there's clearly not a lot of acrimony to words, Rachel Lawley, for failing to deliver them a second NDP government. She's essentially saying, look, we're proud of our record. We did a lot. Here is a little bit of what she had to say so far. Four years ago, Albertans hired us to do a very big job at a very difficult time. And we did that job with purpose. And we did it with integrity. And today, Alberta is a better place because of it.
Now she went on to list some of what she considers the NDP government's accomplishments during these last four years, including the carbon tax, which she didn't quite name. She just said we acted on climate change. She also talked about raising the minimum wage. Interestingly, both the minimum wage and the carbon tax have been targeted by Jason Kenney's United Conservative Party throughout this campaign. And I'm sure a lot of people listening to her tonight are wondering why she may not have campaigned further on her record during these 28 days. That's a bit of feedback I got from supporters earlier tonight saying that, you know, we've been hearing door to door that we would have liked to see more of the NDP talking about what they've done versus constantly going after Jason Kenney over the controversies that dogged his campaign, but were clearly not enough to stop Albertans from looking at that option.